Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show you a couple of things that I did to get my labor started unintentionally. So keep watching. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I decided to get on and show you a few tips of how I accidentally started my labor. I was 38 weeks. My son is now 6 weeks old and I decided to show you all what I did to get that started. Now to remind you all I was um, two centimeters dilated before I started doing this um, and I had a doctor's appointment that I was supposed to go to to um, see my midwife and I'm going to show you what I did it took about um, 30 minutes what all I did to get my labor started um, before I got to the hospital so the first thing I did was drink a big cup of my red raspberry leaf tea this right here I took about four of the bags, four of these, and a about a six ounce, eight ounce cup of water. Um, heat it with a little um, raw honey, and that's what I drank. So where and I live in my I neighborhood, there's a school not a far from walk. me, and they now have a you bus drop-off area. Walk. So I did this sidewalk, unlevel walking around that bus ramp. Um, school, of course, isn't open um, due to COVID, so I walked around just like this. I know I looked like a fool, but did not care how anybody else saw me. Just was trying to get myself dilated a little bit more before I went to my appointment. So I walked like this for about 15 minutes. And I also um, went inside my home and I started to do lounges up the stairs. You can also do that walking up and down the stairs. It does the same thing. I just did my lounging just like this for another like 10 minutes or so after I got home. Um, just as far up as my leg could go comfortably. Of course, I'm not pregnant in the showing you, but I could go about three steps up um, when I was pregnant. So I just did this until um, I got tired pretty much 10 minutes because I did walk around that neighborhood, I mean that school, for about um, 15 minutes. And then I did squatting, this deep, um, wide-legged squatting. Um, I did that for probably about 10 minutes just to get my baby um, even lower and in place. Um, just whatever is comfortable. You might need someone there to help you um, get back up. Or if you have a chair that you can hold on to. Um, a banister or something that you can balance yourself and keep yourself steady on. Um, but just a wide-legged deep squat is what I did. Um, mind you, I was not trying to get started. Just trying to get those contra not contractions, but um, dilate some more. So that was everything that I did to... Um, for the, the standing up portion of what I did to get my labor started, um, I decided to lay down before my appointment. And I'm going to show you how I laid down. Um, and that actually is what broke my water. So this is what I did to after I did all of my walking and um, my stretches so and everything like that. I, I did come home and I took a nice long shower pillow. and I, I decided to lay down. A link to this pillow in the description And let me box. show you how I laid down. Um, but I just laid on this pillow sideways with it um, folded in half. Um, my belly could fit into the C while I was pregnant and I just put the bottom portion of it between my legs. Um, the goal is to have your um, as much space between your legs as possible, as comfortable. Um, so, um, I would add a pillow, as you see me doing here. And lean as far, as far forward as I possibly could. And just really try to lean my body as far forward as I could without falling. Um, if you're by yourself, you can extend your leg, like you see me about to do. 
um, but try not to fall um, or just however you can lay your leg comfortably. So I had to get back to work. As you can see, I'm going to do a video on my first night back. But that's everything that I did to get my baby here. Um, mind you, again, I was 38 weeks uh, exactly. Um, and I was not trying to start my labor. This is just everything I did. And my labor just so happened to start. Um, mind you, you can do whatever you want to do. Um, but if your baby is not ready to get here, he or she will not come. So... Um, good luck to all of you, and congratulations to the new moms. Thank you for watching my video. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more videos like this. I've had five babies, um, and this is what I did for my fifth baby. Um, so I have lots of tips and things like that. Um, that helped me with my labor and delivery and um, starting labor and things like that. Um, I, mind you, I never once tried to start my labor. Um, it's just things that I did and my labor just so happened to start. Um, but like I said before, if your baby is not ready to come, you can do whatever you want to do. Baby will not come until he or she is ready. So again, thanks for watching. Bye.